Welcome back, Nerdites. Here we are at MetroCon. Still, I have another special guest, Zai. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing fantastic, Michael. How are you today? I'm doing great. I know you just got here to Metro. Oh, yes. I'm so, so thrilled to be here. It's so, so exciting. Happy you're finally here now. Yes, it's so great. It's been such an amazing event so far. I mean, they have so many vendors. I can't even count them all, you know? It's like you think you saw, like have seen it all. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you go to the next booth, and pop, there goes 30 new things. Yeah, I haven't even got a chance to walk around. I've been here since Thursday. Oh, no I only way. walked like half of the con room so oh, far. Oh, my goodness. Sooner or later, before tomorrow, I can walk the whole thing. I yes. hope that's my goal. Get it through one time. Yes. So let's talk about. We've been friends on Facebook for a while, yes, so and I know you've fun. done American Idol contestant, MTV copycat. You did some kind of singing for WWE, ESPN, New York Yankees. Tell me <laughs> all about that. Thank you so much for asking. Well, I just I feel so blessed because I actually started singing when I was seven. Um, when I was seven years old, the very known, well-known theater in Florida called Ruth Eckerd Hall gave me a scholarship. Oh, wow. Now, I didn't know that it was even a special thing. I was only seven years old. Yeah. For me, I'm like, woohoo, singing camp, <laughs> you know? But I started there and I traveled um, with the Vinoy and Ruth Eckerd Hall and went all over the place. And after three years, we decided to go to some private, like privatized tutoring. And I got to study under some of the best known uh, vocalists in, in the US. And I got to practice from opera to jazz, contemporary. And when I was 16, I got the opportunity to go on to American Idol, where I made it through four rounds. And I was so blessed to be able to do that. That is awesome. Thank you. So Thank how you. was the experience doing that? Oh my goodness, what a blessing. It was so much fun. I got to really interact um, with so many of the, the different contestants and meet a lot of new people. And getting to meet J-Lo, Steven Tyler, and all those wonderful people, I mean, what a blessing. It that was just awesome. so much fun. So what did you do with WWE? Well, I'm actually, it's, it's funny that you say that, I'm currently on WWE because I write music for wrestlers. So you know their theme songs, how they'll burst out and like, yeah. you know, who I'm gonna go take down these guys. Well, I actually write those theme songs so that when they come out, they feel kind of, you know, really, really cool, and they're gonna go take on the other guy. And so can you say whose music you've done so far? Yes, yes. Well, actually, my most prominent right now, he's um, a Defy wrestling champion um, on WWE ESPN. His name is Shane Strickland, and he's known for being called Swerve because he makes his opponents have to swerve so often because nice. his, his fists are so fast. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, his theme song, Swerve, was actually written by myself and Antone Monteezy. And it's just been such a blessing. That is awesome. Now I know we were talking earlier, you did some singing here at MetroCom before. Yeah. So let's talk you. about that. How did that go? Well, it's kind of funny how that came about because um, I was an exchange student to Japan when I was 15. And so I actually had the, the unique opportunity to learn the language, go to the country, and fall in love with their culture. And um, I had always been kind of a, a dork, you know, like I really Everybody love wants anime. To go to Japan. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. It's, it's just such a beautiful place. How can you not? want to go right yeah. um, but yes I so when MetroCon I, I read online they said they had an anime idol competition I said wow you know maybe I should try for that and so I went as Spice and Wolf I was Horo oh, and I awesome. uh, what, a, what a great time I got best in show that so. is awesome right thank there you. winning that thank you and I came back the next year as a judge <laughs> so how many years have you been coming to Metro um, I've actually been coming to MetroCon since I was 12 years old for quite a while. Yeah, now. yeah, so it's been well over 10 years. Wow. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite thing about Metro every year when you come? Ooh. I have to say the people. The people are my favorite. That's what everybody's been saying. Everybody says when they come it's the people, how friendly they are, how accepting everybody oh, is so and wonderful. everything. That's like a big family when you're coming here. It is. It's an entire community that it wouldn't really exist outside of what we do because so many people, especially with our particular culture, society doesn't necessarily always get it because yeah. it's like, oh, it's cartoons, oh, video games, what's this, what's that? And whenever you have that love and that passion and getting to meet other people with the same amount of passion, it's just, it's like a whole nother, you're like, oh my goodness, I found, like you said, my family. Yeah. So it's that's beautiful. I love, that's a big thing. I love just walking around looking at the creative costumes, all the cosplays, people coming. Yes. They're just, how creative people can get making them is right. like wow I I can't do that but I'm happy for the people I can <laughs> I just enjoy taking photos and everything of it uh -huh. have you done any cosplays yes actually I had the the huge opportunity to not only um, cosplay but I was for a while I went under Belle is a babe so Belissa babe cosplay 
and I used to tour and I would go and I would be judges for competitions and panels. Wow. Um, I've been all different kinds of characters from, you know, well-known things such as uh, Fantastic Four, I've been in The Invisible Woman, to maybe more obscure anime like Italia, being Poland, or, uh, <laughs> you know, just the experimental in-betweens. I've been Chi from Chobits and all different all different kinds of people. You know all that. So, all right, so yeah. you watch anime. What's your top three favorite animes? Woo! Okay, so I have seen well over 500 different animes. I have read over 200 different kinds of manga. Um, so that is, that's a hard one. <laughs> but I have to say, I have a couple of ones that really hit me hard. Um, so I really love Blood Plus, which is about vampires. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Right? Yeah, I just, it's fun. They have a different take on it. Like, the vampires are beast-like. They're not yeah. actually, like, humanoid. Um, so I really like that. Um, I really love Sinbad of the Magi. That's I want to really be him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's just, you know, he's so full of love and life. And he's like, yes, I'm going to go help people. I believe that's on Netflix right now still. It is. It <laughs> is indeed. Yeah, I would definitely recommend that everybody go check that out. Yeah, so that, that one. Um, and then if I had a third one... You know, I have so many that are my favorites, but I'm gonna go ahead and say like a, a cult classic for me is like either Bleach or Naruto because that's how I really started to hone in or even Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. I know that's like way over three, <laughs> but you know. Um, I think that's everybody's starter from like Cartoon Network yes. growing up, Dragon Tsunami. Ball Z or something. Yeah, yes. yeah, exactly. So what are you currently watching right now? Right now, I'm actually really excited. I just started a show, um, it's, I'm gonna probably botch the name, but um, it's like Planet of Garg Gargantua. I'm probably seen saying that, that wrong. Yet. Yeah, it's on Netflix, and I just started watching it. So I've been watching that, and then on top of that, like just anything I can get my hands on, really. Like the moment that I see it, I'm like, oh, new anime, click. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you currently working on right now that you're doing? Oh, well, thank you so much for asking. I'm very, very excited, <laughs> thrilled to really share these projects with everybody. Um, so because I'm, um, a workaholic, to say the very least. Yeah, I see and you're always busy on Facebook, <laughs> everything. Like last night, you were doing some boat party event. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went out and I met some investors, um, Bonnie and Clyde, if you know the, the Sunset Music Festival. Yes. So when they canceled the music festival because of the storm that came in, they actually held their, uh, they moved it, they moved the, the festival to my friend's house. So I was at the house where they held Sunset Music Festival. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was such a blessing. Um, but yeah, right now, I actually am currently working on three different albums at the same time that should hopefully all be released by uh, December. So I've got three different albums I'm working on. I've got my singing gigs that I go to on the regular. I sing in four different counties. Um, I also do modeling and acting on the side as well. So You're I do a photo busy shoots. Person. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, and then on top of that, I decided to take on my new radio show that is on. Yes, every I saw that post Sunday. the other day. That's what oh, got my you. attention and everything. I'm like, radio show, that's awesome. Thank you. How do you judge? juggle all that and have time to yourself in a free life. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, well, to be honest with you, it's kind of hard sometimes to find that that balance. Um, but whenever I feel like I'm like, oh, I need to go do this. I need to do that. I'm like, wait, I need time for myself. And oh, that's not a good enough reason. I tell myself, I'm like, wait, I need time for my dog. Yes. I need to go spend time with my service puppy. a beautiful puppy right there. <laughs> Thank so you good. so much. Yeah, so I, I'll tell that, and that's how I balance it. I go, I'll be working, working, working. Sorry, guys, I can't hang out anymore. Sorry, guys, I can't go to work today. i got to go hang out with my puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Where can everybody follow you at? Oh, thank you so much. Well, if you find me on Facebook, you can find me at Zai, that's Z-A-I, Entertainer, um, on Facebook. It can also be found on Instagram, same handle, Zai Entertainer, same uh, Twitter, as well as my new website that will actually be launched on Wednesday, which is huge. We have a huge campaign. We have a Patreon that's going to be released, and that's also ZyEntertainer.com. Once you have that up, please send me that so oh, I can you. promote it and everything. That'd too. be phenomenal, and I'd love to have all of you on my on my radio show as well. I think we can definitely work yeah. that out somehow. That'd be phenomenal. I would love that. Thank, Thank you, you so for much coming for having out. me. It's been Thank great. you, Nerdites. Phenomenal. We will be back shortly. Thank you very much.